true. Hello, everybody. So this is TG95 here, and welcome back Seth. to Life right. is Strange. Like real, we are in the here? past right now. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. I am. When your mom is away. I'll let her know. So that. let's. Look what around. a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Chloe was so into manga. Hmm. Nice hair. Okay. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are the keys? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Keys, please. Careful, Max. William can totally see you. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get score. To I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I don't know where Shit, to put them. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. That'll work. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. <laughs> of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries, and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome! Yay. Hmm. We're changing the future.
not paying $150 for a concert. I've heard that the Vortex Club parties are wild. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends what? in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so much. I know. Sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. And if Chloe wasn't there, then where is she? David's a bus driver now? I mean... My dad's a bus driver, so it's not, not that much. Well. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's not that much worse, but. <laughs> so. We have basically fudged up the future by changing one thing from the past. The butterfly effect really sucks. And I seriously love how they re reuse characters. Well, I guess the tornado is still going to happen in this future. Last time it was birds, now it's whales. Please be okay. There's a ramp now that wasn't there before. Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! I think that's going to be the end of that this episode uh, not this episode this chapter I think which slightly sucks yeah shoot All right, you left the money, 53%. You kissed Chloe, 78%. I'm not even going to comment for that one. You said it was David, 22%. I didn't want to technically side with Chloe on that one because... 
David's been having a hard time. And I know Chloe has as well, but he's, he was only just doing his job. And with PTSD and all that other stuff. Yeah. Dang it. I could have looked a little bit more and got the freaking... I could have got David's gun back. Son of a... I wasn't looking hard enough, I guess. Uh, you kept Frank's dog from harm, which is amazing. Because I don't think it would be able to go through this game without that. Or not without that. Without the dog. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> and then 34% Frank has David's gun. Still. Shoot. No pun intended. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. It's okay. Whatever. <laughs> End of the world party. All right. Awesome. The dark realm. All right, let's continue, shall we? Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Recap. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Recap on how we fucked up the world. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, And Mac? saved a person's Stop. life. Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. By saving Chloe's dad, we paralyze Chloe. Mr. Krabs, how do you do in the beach? I love the sceneries. But why are we suddenly at the beach? Oh, because of the whales. I forgot, even though we just had a recap. That 
That's horrifying. And nobody's doing anything about it. I forget how many episodes are in this. In this game. I mean. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Aww. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Yeah, they are. Kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. And they're not. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Just so it happened here, too. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that, too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. She's completely different. She's like your... Child self. But in an older body. My 
guess that's what happens to you when you... That happens. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Drink up, buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates, running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Mm. What other friends? I know that's kind of mean to say, but what other friends? You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Hmm. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Right. 
I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Mm. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. There's the old Chloe. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. That's gotta suck. Nothing but medical supplies. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. Snow globes are taking over. No kidding. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Mm -mm. Ah, here's the DVD. Glad to see her as nosy as ever. Hey. I don't want to disappoint my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. And Mr. Hot Dog. <laughs> That's a serious heat lamp. No kidding. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? Mm. She can't even feel the grass now. She could if she put her head down on it. That was kind of mean, but still. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. Nice. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Wow. You are a prick. Why is that? Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Hmm. Okay, I think that's enough snooping around. I don't wait. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe.
sounds like you guys are watching a space movie or something. What's going on? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Max fell asleep and Chloe is still awake. Or she just woke up. Either one. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Shoot me now. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Oh, that's no. terrible. Jesus Christ. Shut up, Victoria. I don't want to talk to you. Have more important These matters. These bills to should me. all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be your father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Not at all. Being around you and Joyce again is 
so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Yeah. We'll do that. Why do you have to press a button to get up here? That, that's slightly stupid. But... Whatever. Light switch. Yeah, it totally looks different. Nothing here. Open it. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. So I'm gonna guess that's a new. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. And switch off to conserve power. Her old room. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Mm. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. No kidding. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I highly doubt it. At least we never had to hide from step douche. I guess we stopped growing up together. You just got a moment. You I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? with what fate has set out in front of you. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Mm. 
these bills should all just say, Dear Sir, you are screwed. This reality shouldn't be a reality. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. There's still Me time too. for both of us. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I'm so sorry. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together forever.
Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Please take it. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back, always. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the, um... Oh. Not really crying fast, but whatever. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. 
Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Anyways, like, like share, share, subscribe, subscribe hit that bell icon, comment down below anything in general. And this is TT95, signing off. Bye, guys.